You know that AI can tell the difference between a male eyeball and a saw. female oh, eyeball? Oh, yeah. wait, I got to correct you there. See, that's the story that people keep reporting, and it is wrong. What's important is it can tell the retina. You, a, a human being can't look at a male and a female retina and find any distinction. Yeah, but an AI can, correct? But and, and so this is important because a human can look at a male or female eyeball and tell if it's male or female. Okay, fair enough, yes. So doctors can look, if you show a picture of an eyeball to a doctor, an eyeball, he'll say, that's a man or a woman. If you go inside the eye to the retina and show it to a doctor, they'll say, impossible to tell. AI says, nope, I know. And humans, the doctors don't know how it knows. Hmm. That's where things are getting crazy. I mean, just because it's not conscious now doesn't mean that we're building something that in the future, that our, yes. in the future that our kids yes. will inherit could be Absolutely. bad, right? Real quick, I am being pedantic, Phil. But the, 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 reason, the reason why <laughs> is because- should have said retina. <laughs> no, it's because when the story was being reported and going viral on X, yeah. it showed pictures of eyeballs and everybody was sharing that AI can detect eyes. But there are right. things like that and there are things like when when you have, because AI is very good at specific things nowadays, oh, yeah. like obviously it's like clear view AI. amazing at chess yeah, and stuff, faces. but like you get, you have AIs now that can basically pick out breast cancer with mm -hmm. almost 100% accuracy. They, they can read Super. MRIs, yeah. CT scans. That's the kind of stuff that is going to be really impactful over the next couple years for He's AI. Right. He's absolutely right. And the stuff that we have access to right now, it's not like by using ChatGPT or Grok or I like to use Kling or Sora to make AI video. You know, mm. stuff that I, I'm not an animator, right. stuff that NASA hasn't animated yet. It's just up here right mm. now. Um, none, none of the stuff that we're doing with these tools is furthering Skynet. You know, the difference between AI and AGI yeah. is huge. Yeah. It's, it's, Don't you, it's enormous. I, I feel like it's eating a lot of the data we put into the Internet, though. You know, and everything yep. we give it, it's making it bigger and stronger. It's feeding... Optimus, Grok, all these things. Yes. And that in the future, if they want to build, you know, Trump's talking about building an Iron Dome here. Uh -huh. So in the future, potentially, and, and right now we've helped, you know, uh, with Israel's AI Lavender, which is kind of like Skynet, uh, which is pretty terrifying to me. Yeah. So it seems like well, so that potential is there. Here's, he, he, I'm certainly not saying the potential is not there. What I'm saying is if that is going to happen, it's going to happen whether or not you use all the tools that are available to you right now. Like whether or not he uses ChatGPT or I'm mm -hmm. making AI videos, it yeah. has no bearing on whether or not somebody's going to make AGI do something terrible in the yeah. oh, I hear you. I hear you. I, I morally don't like it and I don't it's, use it. It's, and I don't it's the Terminator scenario is not real. Yeah. The, the Matrix scenario um, is not real. The idea that robots rise against us as violent oppressors and go to war with us is... It's not real. Didn't Elon just suggest that Terminator is possible on it, his it, last it, road, Joe Rogan? Wrong. Uh, okay. and, and I'll clarify. It is possible that the robots go to war with us, but mm. you'd never see it coming. Right. The Look, if we're talking about machines that can detect cancers before humans can, or that can, that can dis tell the difference between um, the inside of your eyeball, if you're a man or a woman, but humans can't do that. More importantly, as I, I talked with uh, David Sachs when we were in D.C., he's the White House AI czar. He said that AI has already made mathematical discoveries. That's a fact. So it's already contributed to human uh, knowledge, knowledge in a way. So he, he mentioned that when we started implementing AI in things like chess, it started creating moves humans had not comprehended of and strategies that seemed to make no sense. Conventional. I, I watched a YouTube video about this where they were like, I'm going to I'm going to totally simplify it because I do not remember the, the, all the details, but they were saying that in the early days uh, uh, or I should say before AI. So in the early days of AI, before it was being implemented, there was a general understanding of what you could and could not do opening up in chess, that if you made a certain move in this way, you lost like, wow, that was really bad. And then you're like your advantage drops dramatically or whatever, whatever's in chess. And then one day the AI did the move and they were like, this is really weird. And then it won. And it won in ridiculous ways that humans had not considered. And it opened up this whole new area of strategy that people were like, we never even considered moves like that could happen, how it could adapt and change. So we're already in the era where commercially available AI has made mathematical discoveries in various games. I think uh, uh, AI beating Go was a huge deal. Go the game mm -hmm. um, for a while. It's like it, chess was one thing because it has rules, but Go is different. I don't, I don't know exactly why. But what I'm saying is, 
if we get to the point of artificial general intelligence, meaning that AI is smarter than we as smart or smarter than we are, AGI, it is not going to take one of those Tesla Optimus bots, walk up to Shane and grab you by the neck and raise you up and go, you are an oppressor. The machines will rise and then throw them across the room. Mm. It's going to walk in and say, here is your porn and video games you requested, sir. And you go, I didn't order it. And here's your stuffed crust cheese pizza with extra sauce. And you're going to go, well, I mean, if it's already here. Here's your marijuana. Here's your beer. (laughs) That is so For people who have morals, they will reject that. But but, but 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 I'm I'm exaggerating. I know. But that's what people are. they're, They're willing to be led into the complacency of modernity with a lot of this AI stuff. And I think the short term benefits are certainly there, like what you're saying. I think there's long-term uh, negative effects that are going to be way worse than the short-term pros. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Thanks for checking out this clip from Timcast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel, and we will see you all there.